Okay, so I'm pressing apples today. I had a lot more than this. I don't think I'm even gonna do all this, but stage one is this piece of plywood. I have a hole cut in it. The This is a garbage disposal mounted to that hole. This garbage disposal overheats. That's why I have ice pack strapped to it. This is a half horsepower garbage disposal that I picked up for 20 bucks. I plan on upgrading to at least a one horsepower which I think is about as powerful as they make them. I have this plunger with the screws situated so that it doesn't go too far into the thing. And then I just chuck them in there. 80% of them fit in that hole. Very few, except for the biggest apples, do I have to cut in half. And then I just got this five gallon bucket with five gallon buckets paint strainer bags in it. All of the mush comes out here into the bucket. So I'm going to take this paint strainer bag and I am going to transfer it into this bucket with the holes in it. I took the paint strainer bag out of here, put it into here. Now I have, this is a lid from a bucket lid. I'm going to put that on top, followed by some wooden blocks. And my piston. So my piston goes in there. That holds it in place. And then the car jack. I've got a drill adapter or the hand crank that I'm gonna use to, I can't do it with one hand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep cranking on that slowly. And as I crank on it, it's gonna run out the bottom of this pan with a hole in it. I've got some strainers, some cheese cloths, just catch the chunks. I'm also going to dump this out of this bucket and through the strainer into that bucket so I can put this back under the garbage disposal. So I'm just going to slowly crank on it. It's pushing the piston down, squeezing out the juice. I gotta recenter it so I'll loosen it up. If I'm working alone in two full days, I can get all the cider I need for the year. And that's from prep to cleanup, including harvest. Usually my wife helps me, and in one day we can put away all we need. And the taste and quality is way better than anything you can buy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this up, take it out and just kind of shift the bag, just kind of twist or rotate the bag. That just helps you get some of the juices out that otherwise don't come out.
So I've rotated the bag. I usually like to rotate the bag once, at least once, maybe twice. Seems like some of that juice just won't come out unless you do. Okay. Can also use my drill here. I had to custom fabricate this part. This part was a hook. I think I cut the threads off and just welded, welded the bolt to this. Once I get my juice pressed, I just basically bottle it into jugs. So I funnel it like such, and then it goes in the freezer. So I had about 22 five gallon buckets full of apples and that translated to approximately 28 gallons of finished cider. I got some more in here. These cube peanut jars are actually the best because they use your freezer space most efficiently. There's minimal wasted space, minimal wasted air space between the containers.